सो है एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल टेक एंड आर्ट होप यू गैस डूइंग गुड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बफर कैच हीट रेशियो सो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वाट इज द बफर कैच हीट रेशियो एंड हाउ इट्स गेटिंग इम्पैक्टेड इन सीक्वल फॉर परफॉर्मेंस इशूज ओके एंड वाट शुड बी द करेक्ट थ्रे सोल्ड फॉर द बफर कैच हीट रेशियो ओके सो प्लीज बी विथ मी एंड बिफोर दैट आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट टू ईच एंड एवरी वन हुर नॉट सब्सक्राइब गेट प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर टू अदर्स ऑल्सो ओके and please visit the channel playlist sql server dba you can get the benefit if you are getting the benefit uh, to share with others as well okay let me start so firstly we will talked about the buffer catch heat ratio okay so let me summarize in one line so the buffer catch heat ratio is the percentage of page found in the buffer catch without having to read them from the disk okay the percent is calculated as the total number of successful catch hit divided by the total number of request catch backup since the last cycle of the threshold model so we'll get this script to you know find out the buffer catch hit ratio for the particular sql server instance so before that let me summarize this line so what is saying actually the buffer catch hit ratio is the percentage of page found in the buffer catches without having to read them from the disk so what you are understanding here actually so basically the buffer catch hit ratio is the you know your buffer pool capacity to holding the pages in a buffer memory okay so what is the capacity of your buffer memory to hold the pages so what should be the percentage uh, you know threshold actually so if you come here and understand this line so ideally the sql server would read all the pages from the buffer caches and there will be no need to read any from uh, from the disk in this cases the buffer cache hit ratio value would be 100% the recommended value for buffer cache hit ratio is 90% okay so we'll understand this buffer cache hit ratio with the help of this architectural diagram so what it's saying if any request is coming to the you know the relation engine through the protocol layer to command parser optimizer and executor and then it's coming to the storage engine access method so here in access method what it's doing it's going to check the whether the select or non select query if it is a select query let's take an example it it is a select query that select query firstly going to check in a buffer manager right whether that query execution plan already there or not okay if it is there it's not fetching the data from the data file without fetching the any Uh, request to the data file it's reverting the request from here itself to the application user right from the buffer memory so the buffer catch hit ratio is playing the classical role here in a buffer pool what is the percentage level of amount your buffer pool will hold the data in a buffer memory okay so that is the uh, buffer catch hit ratio so if you come and read this line what is saying the buffer catch hit ratio is the percentage of pages found in the buffer catch without having to read them from the disk without having to read them from the disk which means they are not touching the disk understood my point if you are hitting a select query uh, for a couple of records so for that select query the sql server engine it's going and checking the buffer pool itself whether the data is available in your buffer memory or not without having to read from the disk and reverting to the application user so that the in 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 the buffer pool memory the buffer catch hit ratio is playing the classical role so through that way your recommended value for the buffer catch hit ratio is 90 over the 90 so basically what is the percentage pages holding capacity in your buffer pool that is called buffer catch hit ratio so will with the help of this script if i will execute on my instance if you can see here for us it's coming now as of now 52 okay so this is not correct right it should be more than 90% okay so in that case your buffer there is a memory pressure in the sql instance why it is because i have restricted the sql instance because this is my lab personal laptop so i don't want to give uh, sql server more memory because my laptop is going to slow okay so through that that's the reason the 
count is coming very less for but ideally recommended size is default size is you know more than 90 percent it should be there over the 90 percent count so you can use this script to figure out what is the buffer catch heat ratio if it is the uh, less than 90 then definitely a memory pressure you need to figure out okay so hope you got the point what is the buffer catch heat ratio and how it's playing the classical role in a buffer ma manager okay and how it's happening you can understand the better way what is the meaning actually the buffer catch heat ratio so well that's it for today we'll meet you soon very soon till then bye bye thank you and take care